My theory is that the Earth is actually flat, and here's some of the data that I've collected that seems to support my theory. Ever wonder why so many amateur investigators are convinced they're more reliable than the experts? The moon is supposed to be 238,000 miles away. That's inaccurate. According to psychologists, all of us have a little known quirk in our brains that makes us think we know more than we actually do. We all suffer from this illusion of understanding, at least some of the time, especially in domains that we're not experts in. The people who most overestimate themselves are the people who know the least. Chemtrails do exist and we are being sprayed. They push it to Could this be the reason our news feeds are so full of misinformation? Let's revisit the internet's first big conspiracy theory for a closer investigation. Things just don't make any sense. Not cause the building to collapse that way. Throughout the whole building. Jet fuel cannot melt steel beams. They The online rumor mill is almost as old as the internet itself. No one knows that better than David Mickelson, founder of one of the world's oldest and most trusted fact-checking sites. The fake news about Charles Manson being granted parole. The Illuminati are creating this series of large hurricanes. Snopes started in the mid-1990s. It quickly became the go-to place where people started sending anything questionable they encountered on the internet uh, to ask, is this true? For years, Snopes was just a hobby, but then the world and the internet changed. We went to it into the, into the other town. Looking very disturbing. Do you know if it was an explosion? Was Thousands of terrified people watched from the street. Many were missing. Whether they escaped, we don't know. Find those responsible. Who was responsible? Find them and punish them. We watched the destruction of the South Tower, the destruction of the North. I said to myself, this is impossible. I knew that we were witnessing a fantasy. Suddenly, we were charting a whole bunch of rumors, conspiracy theory, opinion pieces, all sorts of things that we hadn't really tackled before. 9-11 ticked all the boxes for conspiracy thinking. It was the most devastating national event since the JFK assassination, yet it was somehow pulled off by a small group of radicals most Americans had never heard of. The whole story of, of 19 Islamic terrorists armed with box cutters is a manifest absurdity. And for many Democrats, the rumors of an inside job conveniently confirmed their suspicions of President Bush. Meanwhile, on the World Wide Web, a growing army of amateur sleuths began rising up to contest the official narrative. 9-11 was the internet's first real conspiracy theory. You can say, I don't think 9-11 happened the way it did, and then your friend's like, yeah, of course, go watch Lose Change on YouTube. Were the Twin Towers brought down in a controlled demolition? Loose Change was one of the first feature-length documentaries to become an internet blockbuster. Never mind that it was made by a teenager on his laptop. Faced with multiple versions of the truth, more and more Americans began deciding to trust Google and themselves. The only way that we have a chance is if the people decide that they're smart enough to make their own conclusions about things. But here's the problem. None of us is as trustworthy as we think. It turns out we have this mental blind spot that tricks us into thinking we know more than we actually do. Psychologists call it the illusion of understanding. One of the earliest studies on this used a diagram of a bicycle. Participants, they were asked, how well do you understand how a bicycle works? Once they had rated their understanding, participants were confronted with this incomplete diagram, and they were just asked, fill it in. Feel free to pause here and sketch in the missing parts yourself. Think about where everything needs to be to make this bike work. There's pedals and gears and turny thingies. Maybe something like this. Hmm. Or maybe like this. Okay, not that. Here's how it should look. How'd you do? If it was harder than you thought, you're not alone. Almost half the people who took the test got something big wrong. Their understanding was an illusion that was shattered only when they were confronted by the test. Decades of research confirmed that all of us, no matter how smart, overestimate our knowledge of everything from simple gadgets to complex issues. When we suffer from this illusion of understanding, it can be tempting to trust our own wisdom better than mainstream authorities. 
Maybe some people feel like they understand structural engineering better than the experts. Hey, that looks just like a demolition. The way None of the most popular 9-11 truth videos on YouTube were produced by professional journalists at respected news outlets. Many makers of this content are trapped by the illusion of understanding, and so is their audience. While it is theoretically possible that the novices are right and the experts are wrong, that generally doesn't seem like a plausible story. There's two psychologists named Dunning and Kruger who found that the people who most overestimate themselves are the people who know the least. Here's how novices in Dunning and Kruger's study rated their own knowledge compared to the experts. And here's their actual knowledge based on test scores. These results illustrate an important reality. When we know just a little bit about a complex subject, it seems simple. But the more we learn, the more we realize how complicated it really is and how much we don't know. Experts at investigative journalism spend years learning how to uncover the truth and proving they're trustworthy before they get hired at top news outlets. And even then, their work is still scrutinized by other gatekeepers. When it was one-way mediums, when it was television, when it was newspapers, there was some sort of fact-checking involved. If it didn't have some grounds in truth, there were some consequences for it, but now it's just random shouting. The internet only has two gatekeepers. One is algorithms, which are designed to predict what we like, not what is true. And the other is us. And if you've been watching this series, you know that our brains didn't evolve to seek the truth either. True things people tend to be not so interested in. It's outrageous or bizarre forms of events that tend to catch people's attention, and those tend to be fabricated but it's uh, not the worst Photoshop we've seen, I don't think. For David Mickelson, stemming the tide of falsehoods on the internet is no longer a hobby. It's a daunting task that requires more and more staff each year. All right, I'm publishing it. But all of the fact-checking in the world won't help unless we use it. The idea that you're going to change somebody's mind with one debunk or one fact check is almost entirely wrong. We just see that from the data. The wrong tweet gets thousands and thousands of retweets and the correction gets a thousand, if that. Nobody wants to be told that they're wrong. You know, our brains are structured in such a way that it's very difficult for us to have our minds changed. The first step to overcoming this challenge is shattering our own illusions of understanding. So the next time you want to share something online because it just seems right or you saw it on your favorite YouTube channel, ask yourself, how much do I really know about what I'm sharing? It's really difficult to know what to trust. I can go onto the social web and find these atoms of content, but the role of a gatekeeper as a journalist is to tell me what's true and why this matters. And that's always really been what journalism is about. In our next episode, we'll explore one more reason conspiracy theories rise to the top of our news feeds. There are time-tested rules for how to tell a good story, and these rules are totally at odds with the way the real world works. Conspiracies talk about this vast, faceless evil that is up to no good. It casts all of us as the underdog hero who can overcome this monster if we just wake up. More on that coming up.